In a magic forest lives a family of witches. And they are all girls. These powerful sorcerers are capable of incredible things. Let's make some magic happen only with Lalalu. Like most witches, Helga loves the color black. Use templates to make two halves of a top. Connect them with a seam and try it on. Sew the skirt like this. And put it on the doll. Make sleeves out of green tulle. They will be floor length. Helga looks so mysterious with them. Make part of a skirt out of black tulle. It's the perfect dress for our witch. <laughs> Decorate the cut and the arms with temporary tattoos. What are these magic symbols? There is a magic amulet on her neck and vintage bracelets on her wrists. Use glitter to draw ancient symbols on her hands and face. <laughs> Helga is a self-taught witch. She calls on the powers of nature to make her magic stronger. The witch decided to have a day off. Finally, I can lay on the bed and relax. Now she can look for a new broom and poison recipes on the internet. Witches also love shopping. Who's here so late? Oh no, it's probably a client. But I didn't arrange any meetings today. Should I hide under the bed? No, it's easier for a witch to just turn into a cat. Oh, looks like they're gone. I almost got spotted. Make a bag for cards out of red athletic fabric. Join the two halves with a seam and pull a lace through. The bag is ready, but where are the cards? A complete stack of tarot cards is going in. Helga's fellow witch came to visit her. It's an emergency. <laughs> Can you tell me where my cat is? Even my Ouija board doesn't know. Don't worry, I'll do a reading and we'll find out. Oh, everything is clear. Another witch took your cat, see? She gave him enchanted cat food with catnip. And you need to clean your Ouija board so it works properly. Thank you so much. Join two attachments for beads. Put a big glass ball on a support. Add spills with a hot glue gun and cover them with silver acrylic paint. You can see your future with this magic ball. Or you can use it as Skype. Helga uses a magic ball to video chat with her friend. <laughs> Velma, you won't believe who I saw today. Ruthie, her cat disappeared and she can't do her spells without him. Can you imagine where he went? Fiona took him. I'm shocked too. And her Ouija board is broken. I think it's because of that session she had. <laughs> Not all spirits are friendly. The kitten is asking for a collar with a leash. How can you say no to him? Cut a cord and pull one edge through a bead. His owner will hold the handle. Decorate the collar with rhinestones. And decorate the cat, too. Helga got distracted from her reading by some noise. It was a little kitten running so fast, he got all tangled up in his leash. Meow! Let's go for a walk. <laughs> You're so funny. It's not a regular branch. That's a magic staff. It's covered with bronze acrylic paint and decorated with a crystal. Cover the attachment points. Add more bronze and attach a decorative skull. Each cord is enchanted. No one would dare steal it now. <laughs> Helga was about to make a magic potion when she heard someone's voice. Hey, witch, I dreamed about a new potion recently. Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm not sure I want to try it out. Last time your spell almost destroyed our house. Don't be silly. How are you going to become the most powerful witch without trying new spells? Okay, but no surprises this time. The magic staff immediately flew up and appeared in her hand. One hit. Another one. There is real magic going on here. Let the fog rise. Not asking you twice. Magic power arise. This time, the staff did its job. We need to write it down in the Book of Potions. 
One more important item for a witch is an invisible cape. Measure the length and sew a long velvet cape. We can make a hood out of two pieces. We need to make the head invisible too. Add straps made out of a gold cord. I can't believe it! This cape could hide anyone! <laughs> oh, there is no one here. Helga sneaked into the forest to collect some mushrooms for her potion. Shh! They look like poisonous mushrooms, but they are actually magical. And only a witch knows where to find them. You can find a couple of mushrooms like this. Even an experienced witch can confuse them with poisonous mushrooms, but I'm a pro. Helga put the mushrooms in her basket and disappeared into the forest. We can turn this toy panda into a bear even without any spells. Let's use acrylic paint, a sponge, and brushes. Cover the body with acrylic paint. Draw a new face. A moon appeared on the bear's belly. And the stars shine too. What animal is this? I haven't seen it before. The elder daughter decided to try a new complex spell. Turn a kitten into a bear. That's a challenge. Hocus Pocus. The bear looks great. But there was not enough power to change his fur. Well, it looks cute anyway. The mom witch is really happy that the spell was successful. I'm proud of you. What a cute bear. <laughs> Who's that baby? Let's meet her. She has green eyes, just like a real witch. And she has red hair, too. No doubt, she's Helga's daughter. The baby is pulling the ribbon. Let's make an outfit for her. Seal the edges and make a dress. Add a layer of green tulle. Decorate the dress with green and white beads. It brings out her eyes. Little witches are surrounded by trees and forest creatures from an early age. A squirrel, a bunny, an owl, a deer, they all live in peace with each other. The sisters are talking on a bench. The younger one was looking at birds and accidentally fell on her back. That's a good idea, laying on the grass and watching the clouds. But my forest friends also want to play. How can you say no to these cute fluff balls? Make a cover out of glittery fabric. Let me help fold it. Carefully designed pages will help store all the spells and recipes. There are so many of them. Glue the pages. Paint the inside of the cover black. There is a magic witch symbol on the front. What symbols are the pages decorated with? Only a real witch can understand them. We can make a steady kettle out of a half of a plastic ball. Paint the base black. Dip the edges in glitter. And make the handles out of wires with rhinestones. They look like metal whiskers of a dragon. Add steady legs. Clearly written spells and a steady kettle is a must for successful magic making. It's time to make a potion for future spells. In order to make it right, we need to check the magic potion book. Let's see, five drops of this. Ah, I forgot the other ingredients. Okay, a pinch of that. Stir it. Yay, that's the right recipe. Use a branch from the farthest tree in the forest and a decorative branch with berries. We can make a broom. Cover it with acrylic paint. The tail is covered in glitter. Add feathers from exotic birds. And an attachment point with a handle is decorated by a metal flower and emerald beads. There was a small mess after making potions in the room. We need to clean it up. Here is the broom. The daughter decided to clean it up, but her mother stopped her. That's not a regular broom. Let me show you. After some instructions from her mom, the daughter managed to get on the broom and even fly around the forest. Cut pieces for a lantern out of textured foam paper. Glue the pieces. 
Put a LED light inside. Make the surface look older. And add glitter. The little witch loves walking around the forest at night. But she takes a lantern in case it gets dark. Night fell! Thanks to the light of the lantern, the little witch will always find her way home. She was happy to get to know the forest creatures. And they loved her too. It's time to go. My mom is waiting for me. Did you enjoy the adventures of our witches? Give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more magical doll ideas!